Have you ever dreamed of exploring another world? Could you witness something new? Push boundaries? Or reach for your greatest hope? The experience of every generation is yours. On the History Channel, where the past comes alive. From this to this. From this to this. Transforming raw metal into civilization is a journey that began before the Bronze Age and takes us into a gleaming future. Human progress forged in the blacksmith's fire. Now, metal on Modern Marvels. Copper and iron to steel and aluminum. Our progress has been marked by newly applied metals that are stronger and lighter, though fundamentally similar to the metals that have come previously. But the metal of the future might just be a new alloy that behaves in ways we've never seen metals behave before. The true future metals may not be the so-called new metals like titanium, as much as new structures. Taking it all down to the molecular level, turning crystalline solids like titanium, iron, and aluminum alloys into glasses by melting them at extremely high temperatures, then rapidly cooling them. A company in California has already done it with a super alloy called liquid metal, made of steel, aluminum, and titanium. Conventional metals crystallize when they solidify, they form crystals. Uh, liquid metal uh, is basically a frozen liquid, we call that a glass. Like a solid, the molecules in a metallic glass do not move, but like a liquid, they are not aligned in a uniform pattern. This molecular condition makes them very strong. Further, they have fewer structural defects because they are often fused from a powder, providing uniform consistency. This process allows them to be efficiently molded, much like a plastic, rather than forged. Simultaneously, drop a ball bearing on a stainless steel plate, titanium plate, and a liquid metal plate, and you see just how much stronger, harder, and elastic the metallic glass is. Its strength, for example, then, is uh, typically two to three times stronger than the same material in the crystalline state. As scientists continue to create new metals with unusual and original properties, other scientists are busy developing applications for those metals. Around we go, from discovery to invention, as we have for thousands of years. Ever since that first person pulled a lump of molten copper out of a fire and forged it into shape, transforming a collection of people into a striving civilization. <laughs>